look at the numbers to our opening matchup. You know, everything looks pretty basic to me. The only thing that sticks out is Duverson's reach. Cordell Booker is a counterpuncher, so he's not only got to fight against the, the boxer himself, but also his reach as well. He's got some reach to fight through tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Microsoft Theater here in Los Angeles for a big night of Premier Boxing Champions action. We are also live on the Armed Forces Network for our brave men and women fighting for our great country. Tonight's event is brought to you by TGB Promotions and sponsored by GEICO. We begin the night eight rounds in the super welterweight division. Your three judges scoring this contest at ringside will be Carla Caiz, Don DeVergas, and Damian Walton. The referee in charge when the bell sounds is Ray Corona. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner, he comes in wearing the black with the lime green trim, weighing in officially at 154 and one half pounds. His record 11 wins, eight of those coming by way of knockout, knockout against, against one, one loss, loss and, and two, two draws. draws. Fighting out of Avon Park, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Sonny Primetime Duverson. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the gray and the black. He comes in also weighing in at a ready, 154 and one half pounds. His record a perfect one, 15 wins, seven of those coming by way of a knockout. Joining us from Stamford, Connecticut, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cordell the Gift Booker. Got your mouthpiece? All right. Ladies gentlemen, this is good here. This is good here. Nothing below that. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. God bless. Closed captioning is available for tonight's telecast. And if you would like, Hello. you could hear the broadcast in Spanish. Click over to the simulcast on Fox Deportes. Oh. There you see Cordell Booker. Booker is of the belief that Duverson should not be in the ring with him, but he's got to go out and look impressive because he wants to prove that he is a bona fide Ready? contender. Ready. Meantime, Duverson coming off of his only loss at the hands of Lorenzo Simpson less than a month ago. Booker is a southpaw. Conventional is Duverson. Ray Flores, Sean Porter, and Jordan Plant here in Los Angeles. Ray, we got a southpaw in the orthodox boxing arena. I think that says enough about what the, con the kind of fight we're about to have. Strategic. And we're about to see who's got the best game plan. Well, you pointed out about the height and the reach advantage, a 10-inch reach advantage in favor of Duverson. Duverson said at 30 years of age, I'm not getting any younger. I need to make my move now. And just like the jab right there, he's got to be able to use his range and his distance with that jab to set up the big right hand that he's got. Cordell Booker, an extensive amateur background, had over 130 fights as an amateur, actually lost to eventual Olympian Charles Conwell. He was very close to potentially making it to the U.S. Olympic team. He lost to Cleveland. It's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You being from Cleveland. Nice shot in the early going. Duverson coming off of that loss at the hands of Lorenzo Simpson where he landed a right hand and put Simpson down in the fifth round. He said it was a lucky punch, but now he understands what it means to be fighting at this level. You know what? I, I asked him in the fighter meeting, are you going to try to land that right hand again? Did you learn from it? You can see him throwing a wider right hand right now, and it's actually connecting. Well, he just connected with a big right hand that clocked Cordell Booker. Booker coming off of a layoff. Uh, 529 days in Sean. To my knowledge, you've never experienced anything of that length, but is ring rust a thing? You know what, I'm glad you mentioned that. One thing I'm used to about Cordell Booker is his, he's being elusive. He's not being elusive right now. I'm used to him being more defensive and being able to really counter guys. And right now, the speed is just a little off from him, and it could be because of the layoff. When for Duverson, following the loss to Lorenzo Simpson, he said he immediately stayed in the gym because he felt a performance like that would keep him active and that he would get more calls. And lo and behold, he took this fight on less than two weeks' notice. A big shot on the inside between the two. They are mixing it up here in our, the early going. 
I hope I'm not speaking too soon, but I think Cordell has made an adjustment to that right. It's been more of a hook than a straight right from Duberson, and I feel that Cordell has made a, a, an adjustment to that. Volker pounding away upon the body of Duberson. But Duberson fighting with his back off the ropes. Ebb and flow action here thus far. Cordell Booker had a stellar 2018 5-0. Picked up his most signature victory over Wally Omotoso, but then the Achilles injury derailed his Time. upward progression. Cordell Booker getting started, the 29-year-old looking to remain undefeated. Welcome back to Los Angeles. Sean, what are your keys to victory for Sonny Duverson? Sure, Duverson's got to use his jab, use his range to set up the right hand. He's got to stay busy. Uh, or he'll find, fall behind, and of course, he's got to line up the right hand. Meantime for Cordell Booker. Let's go, Let's second out. I didn't see it the first round, ne neither did I see the elusiveness that he has, and he's got to make Duverson miss and make him pay. Cordell Booker attacked the body in the first round, 11 punches that he connected upon, an over 50% connect percentage to the body, did it Cordell Booker. So here's the thing, Cordell's got a round in the ring now, professional round in the ring, and now he's back to the speed that I'm used to, the movement, and being elusive. And he's gonna start there and then try to counter after that. Duverson stated that he wanted to push the pace early because he feels like Cordell Booker is a slow starter. Yeah, it's true. I mean, counter punchers, they don't punch first. They have to wait for the other guy to punch to release, to release some shots. So Duverson's doing the right thing by stepping to him, but he's also got to start with that jab. And for Cordell Booker, he stated that in his mind, he is a contender, but he's looked at like a prospect. Is it because he's been away from the ring for 17 months, Sean? I think that more than anything, he's been away from the ring, but also he just hasn't been in the ring with any big names right now uh, outside of a, a Matoso. So get back in the ring, get a good win under your belt, and then you can look to you know climb that ladder again. Well, it's almost like a process. Fighting Wally Omotosu is a good litmus test. Also fighting somebody like Sonny Duberson. If he can look more impressive than that of Lorenzo Simpson, I think that would speak volumes for the Connecticut native. No, I agree. And, and both guys have made really good adjustments just through one round going into two. Uh, Cordell started off trying to use the ring, and now he's back stepping to Duberson. But that's because Duberson didn't step to, um, to Cordell with punches when he was moving. Cordell Booker, nice inside combination punching. Some of that was blocked by Duberson, but it certainly made an impression upon the judges. For Booker, this is his first time fighting here in Los Angeles, so it certainly means a lot to be fighting here out west. Inside work between the two, body work by Duberson. Back comes Booker. I like to see Booker be more defensively responsible. Punch and then step to the side. Punch and get out. Don't be there for the return to Duverson. He's behind you. Don't let him catch up. For Cordell Booker, 130 amateur fights, 1, 11, and 19. He also has, they've been mentioning about epic training sessions and sparring sessions with former super welterweight champion of the world, Jared Hurd. Always impressive and important to get good work in. I mean, you got working with Manny Pacquiao back in the day. Yeah, uh, along the way, you get that kind of experience, and it's bound to show up at some point in the ring. And right now, I think Cordell Booker is showing his experience by mixing it up, stepping to Duverson, and then also being able to stay out of the range of Duverson's offense as well. well make no mistake about it, Sonny Duverson, though, is no easy task. Welcome back to the Microsoft Theater. And speaking of quality sparring partner, Sonny Duverson, no stranger to that. As we take a look, he sparred with Danier Yelusinov, the Olympic gold medalist, and also former super welterweight champion of the world, Jason Rosario. Trust me, those are not just names. Those guys can take you through some, thing, some things in training, and they'll show up be very evident in fights. And Cordell Booker, though, on the opposite side, he's not the only one dealing with a lengthy layoff. Four of our six fighters, due to COVID managerial issues and injuries, are experiencing layoffs of 300 days or more. So two-thirds of our card here tonight are experiencing layoffs. But thus far, Cordell Booker isn't showing no ill signs of ring rust. Mm, 
you know, right now, I, I, I need to see Duverson do more. He's stepping to Cordell, but you're not throwing any punches. Get busy with the jab and keep looping that right hand. I think the right, the looping right hand is what's going to be really helpful for him in this fight, Duverson. Cordell Booker has a good jab to the body, and also what is impressive, Sean, is how he changes his levels. He it's, goes mid-range, and then he comes up high, and then he sneaks in a big shot. It's funny you say that because I was just looking at that. When you change levels like that, first you're out, then you're in, it really mixes it up and, and makes it hard for the guy to figure out where you're going to be and where to throw those punches. A chopping left hand, and now Duverson had his back on the ropes, which is an area that he does not want to be in against the 29-year-old, but back comes Duverson. This is where Cordell wants to be. He wants to be able to hit and then not get hit. The only way he can do that and get to his rhythm, his flow, is by the back and forth that we just had. And Sean, it's not an easy task when you are fighting someone who is taller than you and also has such a reach advantage as Cordell Booker's given up two inches in height and 10 inch from a reach department in your first fight back and he just got sprayed with the right hand from Duverson. And that's because he he's, has, probably hasn't been up against this kind of range and this kind of, this kind of reach and length uh, and, and Duverson being tall and long. So he thinks he's a step out, but he's still in range right now. Right now. Under a minute to go here in the third round, and another right hand that clocked Booker. Sonny Duverson having some sustained offense here in the third. The jab's got to stay busy. Duverson's got to keep working that jab and keep stepping around like he's doing. Figure out what Cordell wants to do. Sometimes he's in, sometimes he's out. Right there, he's going to the body and digging. Step around. Don't allow him to have success right there. A good right hook upstairs by Cordell Booker. There you go. And then when a guy had success, it's my turn. And that right there was Duverson's turn. Welcome in to those of you watching Spring League football as we go ahead and bring you PBC here on FS1. Cordell Booker, Sonny Duverson, a matchup here at 154. Just getting the action started. You haven't missed much, but the action is intensifying between these two here in Los Angeles. That ends the third. For those of us, for those of you that are just joining us, here's a quick synopsis of what you've seen of the first few rounds, Sean. Uh, Cordell's being aggressive, but he's also using the ring. When he is aggressive, he's digging to the body and then coming up top. And that's what's been his success so far tonight. And the one thing, though, is he, he has been staying in line for Duverson to come back. What you see right here, Duverson's coming back to the head and body, simply because Cordell is staying there in range. Right there, one thing I really like that Cordell is doing is changing his levels. Dips down and he comes back up to the top. But again, Pulling out, not out far enough with the guy who's got a 10 inch reach advantage to him. Cordell Booker coming off a layoff of 17 months and Achilles injury derailed his plans that he sustained last August. He was away from the gym for about four months and was ready to come back on March 14, but that fight got pushed due to COVID-19. And incidentally, due to the pandemic, he didn't have any other sparring partners aside from his trainer, Ahmad Mickens. Which is pretty awesome. Uh, I thought I was the only boxer out there uh, <laughs> sparring with my coach slash dad. But uh, <laughs> yeah. they, right now, we all got to do what we have to do. And a story like that will let you know that a guy has done the best he could to prepare for a fight like this. And Cordell Booker said he didn't want to take any chances having the fight in peril and bring in other sparring partners. So therefore, he asked his coach and they sparred 50 or 60 rounds in preparation for this fight. But right now, he's matching up with Sonny Duberson, who's wearing the black with the lime green. Duberson was in action less than a month ago when he lost to undefeated prospect Lorenzo Simpson, but he did put down Simpson in the fifth round. So no easy task here for Cordell Booker, who's picking up his work rate. You know what? This fight has proven to be as close as I expected it to be. You got one guy who's been on a long layoff, and then coming back, he's got to spar with his coach. I asked, you know, do you think you got the best sparring you can get prior to a fight? Right now, can't really tell. Can't tell if he's, you know, got his feet back wet, being back in the ring, if he's able to get the speed and, 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 and strength that he likes to have in the fight. And then you got Duverson here, who's just been in the ring 
uh, not long ago and, and is ready to take on another big challenge in Cordell Booker. Well, the one item that Cordell Booker is focusing on is the body, a 33 percent or 33 body punches that have landed compared to just three for Duverson. So it is evident that Cordell Booker wants to systematically break down the 30 year old out of Avon Park, Florida. I mean, it's, it's what's supposed to happen. You know what I mean? With a taller guy, you're supposed to go to the body and break that guy down, bring him down to your level. What Duverson can't allow to happen because he's not going to go to the body is he can't allow Cordell Booker to just step in there and bang to the body the way that he has. Is Duverson waiting too long to try to connect that big right hand that he was able to land and blast Lorenzo Simpson with in his previous fight? Well, you know what? He came out in the first couple of rounds throwing that right hand and actually landing it as well. It's more of a looping right hand, but he's gone away from the right hand, the looping right hand, and he's gone more to just jabs and, and, and trying to catch Cordell. I said keep throwing those double jabs, but add that right hand in there. Under a minute to go here in the fourth round, Cordell Booker looking to remain undefeated. He is 15 and 0 with seven knockouts against Sonny Duberson, who's 11, 1, and 2. Actually started his career with two straight draws, which is a bit of a rarity, Sean. Yeah, it is, <laughs> it is a rarity, but what I'm stuck on right now is where the book is bleeding a little bit. And call me crazy, but that's not a bad thing for a guy who's been out of the ring this long. Sometimes you need a little bit of blood, a little, little bit of heat and sweat to get you back where you, where you like to be. Final moments of the fourth body work by Booker, but back comes Sonny Duberson, who may have hurt Cordell Booker, Sean Porter, Jordan Plant here in Los Angeles. Sean, what are your thoughts so far in the first half of the fight? Ray, let me say this. Uh, going back to the stools, Cordell looked like he might be struggling a little bit. He looked a little tired. Looked like he was breathing a little harder than I would expect him to breathe just through uh, four rounds. On top of that, Duverson standing up seconds before the bell rang, and, and Cordell was just getting up as it rang. Well, Duverson was last in the ring less than a month ago, 26 days to be exact. He fought in Las Vegas against the unbeaten prospect in Lorenzo Simpson, and he said that that experience gave him, it was a learning experience for him because he learned what it was to be fighting on TV and dealing with the lights and the motions got the better of him. A nice right uppercut on the inside by Duverson. Duverson's got to continue to mix it up, start with the jab as he's been doing this round, but throw some other punches, throw the uppercut, there you go, throw the right hands, the hooks, things right now that there's some things that aren't clicking for Cordell, and Duvers has got to take advantage of it. Cordell Booker looking to make a statement tonight. When we asked him if he could get his wish, if he's successful this evening, he said, I want Jermel Charlo. We asked him why, he said, because he's the man of the division. If you don't want to be the man of the division, get out of the sport. Yeah, I said, <laughs> he's the mark, and I understand what that feels like, I understand what that is. And right now, I think he's just got to work his way back into the sport, into the competitive side of it, uh, especially with such a long layoff. Seeing, I believe, some blood on the nostril, out of the left nostril and out of the mouth of Cordell Booker, largely in part to those big right hands from Sonny Duberson. Uh, Cordell's got to change it up. You're standing straight up and you're, you're walking in, covering up when Duverson punches and then going to the body. Body's the most important thing right now. However, it's got to be more defense than he's given us. There's a cut, I believe, above the right eyebrow of Cordell Booker from our broadcast position. We are socially distant, so we will take a look at that in between rounds as we are under a minute to go here in the fifth round. And Cordell is slowing down himself. I, I think what I saw in, in, in between rounds is, is proving to be so. He's slowing down a little bit. Duvers is he has to take advantage right now and not just stand there and wait on Cordell to punch. Moments ago, Duverson sort of nodded his head as to say, hey, look, I know I am starting to get the better of these exchanges. And a big right hook, though, that connected by Cordell Booker. He caught Duverson coming forward. I think, I think unintentionally, he, he gave Duverson some confidence. As soon as Duverson went to let go, he let go a great right, right hook. Uh, Cordell landed it. And Duverson took that well he's got a beard on him and the right nostril is bleeding for Cordell Booker Sonny Duverson the 30 year old out of Avon Park Florida starting to get into a rhythm against the undefeated Cordell Booker 
as Sonny Duberson showcasing his heavy hands with a big right uppercut to catch mm. the attention of Cordell Booker. But back comes Cordell Booker. Duberson came forward, and he certainly got a wake-up call by Cordell Booker. These two combatants, Cordell Booker looking to remain undefeated, but it has not been easy so far, Sean. He, Cordell's got to figure something out. Standing there in the line of Duverson's offense is not <laughs> what he needs to do, but he's got to dig in. He's got uh, three rounds left, essentially. He's got to dig in starting now. Duverson had his best round in the fifth, landing a personal fight high 14 punches. So Duverson's confidence is starting to grow. Yeah, there's been a lot of close rounds. And, and with close rounds against a guy like Cordell Booker, Duverson is going to look to capitalize and take him out. What does Booker have to do to swing the momentum back in his favor? You know what? I'm I, Honestly, I'm not sure. I think I'd even like to see him use this jab at, the, at this point and just mix it up, continue to go head and body, uh, change the levels up. Well, Sean, you know what it's like as you are trying to become a contender. You have to beat fighters like this in which they are in front of you as you're undefeated. Absolutely, and I think the number one thing that we're seeing right, right now, uh, something that Cordell Booker is lacking is his conditioning. He does not have the conditioning to keep up the kind of pace that he needs. Well, for Cordell Booker, he has been 10 rounds one time over the course of his career. Duverson has been eight just one time in his previous fight against Lorenzo Simpson. Jordan Plant is ringside, and she has more of a bird's eye perspective. Jordan. Yeah, guys, I heard you guys say, you know, we don't really know what Booker can do to take back this fight. But honestly, I was sitting in his corner, and I think what he's missing is feigning this guy. Duverson doesn't have as much experience, so I think if he could freeze him and react off of that, you know, work off the feints, I think it might work for him. What do you think? What do you think, Sean? I, I agree 100%. What do, you, what do you do to stop a guy from being aggressive? If you don't have the conditioning to punch, use feints. Feints will keep a guy off balance and not allow him to just be comfortable and have his weight walking in. About 45 seconds ago, there's a big right hand that sprayed Booker. Duberson with a big right uppercut. Booker is in some trouble as Duberson walking him down, teeing off upon the 29-year-old. This has been a big round for Duberson. A couple of rights and, and now some uppercuts and mixing it up. Cordell's not only hurt, he's very tired. He's not working for him. Booker is trying to fight fire with fire. Who knows if that could be a detriment or a benefit? Moments ago, when Jordan was giving her report, Sonny Duberson unloaded two big right hands that stopped Booker in his tracks and momentarily buckled him. So, my goodness, the heavy hands of Sonny Duberson starting to take hold of this fight and be problematic for Cordell Booker. And you know, it's cliche to me, but a lot of times, the taller, the ring, the long, longer fighter has the advantage in the ring. And right now, Duverson has that advantage with both hands. Sonny Duverson showcasing that big right hand as the sixth round draws to a close. Let's take a look at it, Sean. This is a great round for Duverson. And again, he mixed it up, uppercuts and right hands. He's chasing them down, and he's doing the right things. He's He's mixing it up, and he's pushing Cordell Booker back. Cordell does not have the kind of uh, stamina right now that he needs, the conditioning that he needs to withstand not only the offense, but the defensive attack as well. Duverson outlanded Booker yes. for the first time in the six, 16 punches compared to 15 for Booker. You got to kill him. You got to stay in the jab, yo. Don't make this harder than what it is. You get what I'm saying? Stay focused. Stay focused. Easy work. Guys, just give him that one, two. Look at one more time. Yeah, give him that one, two. Speaking good, baby. I'm proud of you. That's what I'm talking about. Breathe, baby. Breathe. Breathe. With the dog, son. Sean, what is your interpretation of what they told Cordell Booker about using the jab and getting back to fundamentals? He said two things. He said, use the jab, the one, two, and don't make it harder than it has to be. He's past that point in the fight. I think if those those are things he should have done done sooner, and and he would have made the fight a lot easier at this point than it than it ha has become. Round seven. This one's scheduled for eight. Sonny Duberson looking to take that goose egg on the record of Cordell Booker, who's undefeated. Hey, listen. His coach said, "We a dog. We a dog. Just breathe and make it work." 
and that's what he's coming out and he's doing. He's being a dog right now. What is impressive to me about Duverson is his punch selection. That right hand has been landing, but also another weapon has been the sharp right uppercut at close distance. It's it's a it's a hard punch to defend, but it's also a hard punch to throw because you got to throw it at the right time and you got to throw it in the right spot. And Duverson is finding the right spot with that right uppercut. Also, another key, Sean, how important has been the timing? Because I feel like Duverson has better timing compared to that of Cordell Booker. Yeah, I agree. That was something coming into this fight I didn't expect. Obviously, I think uh, the layoff is what's really proven to be a problem for Cordell Booker. I expected him to be faster and quicker to the punch than he, is, than he has been in this fight. And one of the keys for you, that you had for Sonny no, no, Duberson no. is for him to stay busy, and I think he's picking up his punch output. He's picking up the punch output, but he's also using the jab, which, if I may say, was another key of mine. He's using the jab. Hey, it's the most basic punch in boxing, but at the end of the day, if you go back to the basics, those will work out for you. And right now, he's using the jab, and it's working. We are coming up on 75 seconds to go in the seventh round. Cordell Booker looking to keep his record perfect. Meantime, Sonny Duberson has his sight set on spoiling those plans. A big right hand, and now Duberson looking to tee off on the inside. A sharp right uppercut followed by a wicked left hand and a big right cross. Booker might be hurt. Mike Verona watching the action. He's hurt. Booker trying to hold on. And it is now target practice, a straight left that sprayed Booker. Duverson looking to finish off Cordell Booker here in Los Angeles. Ah, you need experience. Experience just tells you, take a step back, don't rush in, use the range and the distance. That's what's working for you. Duverson's gotta get some space. And a left. sharp right uppercut, now Duverson driving Booker against the ropes, continues to unload the heavy artillery. This is a big round for Duverson, and a problem for Cordell Booker. Sonny Duverson in seek and destroy mode. Cordell Booker on sheer guts and adrenaline trying to remain upright. A big right hand that clock Booker. You see that? Don't just walk in. Walk in behind your punches. The mouthpiece is out strong. for Duverson and Ray Corona, the 20 year referee, will pick it up. Right here, time, time. Right, that's go over the worst there, thing that could for Duverson. Let's go, let's go. Be quick. The momentum water, water, was water. squarely in his favor. No, no. Booker with his nose bleeding. Let's go, 10 men. He is in a stop battle the bell, against gentlemen. Sonny Duverson. Final ah, moments of the seventh. And that ends the seventh round. Another big round for the 30 year old out of Avon Park, Florida. Sonny Duverson showcasing his big power here. Sean, look at this just all out assault. Yeah, he, uh, he's doing all the right things. He's, he's finding the openings. That's what you have to do. Professionals, we find the openings. It's not always going to be the straight punch. Sometimes it's going to be the looping punch. Looping right hands, uppercuts. Those are the things that are going to work right now, especially with a guy who really doesn't know where to go for defense. Even right there, Cordell tries to grab him and, and clinch him. is saying, I'm not having it. He breaks free, but the lack of experience is now allowing him to create the space that he needs to get off his offense and could have possibly stopped Cordell right there in that round. Well, look at the conditioning aspect. Duberson was standing up. Booker was on the stool for most of the break in between the seventh and the eighth. Duverson out through Booker 134 to 81 over the last two rounds. He is certainly picking up his work rate. Eighth and final round between these two super welterweights who are trying to make a statement and elevate their standing to become fringe contenders. But back comes Cordell Booker. Do you think that Booker has cleared the cobwebs? Well, you know what he said? I'm not overlooking Duverson, but I want bigger names than this. Right now, he's got to bite down and show us that that's what he wants because it's very much so in jeopardy. We are not. We are not. Sean, when it comes to the numbers, as you see that Booker has 10 punches landed more than Duberson, but does that make an impact in the eyes of the judges? You know what? It, I don't think it does. I think the judges really see what, what impact the punches have and what uh, result the guys are getting from the punches. Right now, Duberson has landed the harder punches throughout the fight, and he's, been, uh, he's, he's landed the most punches, in my opinion, that 
will have a, a profound effect uh, for the judges. It has been an eventful fight between these two. Booker started off the first few rounds looking well, boxing well, and then Duberson starting to pick up his work rate and started landing the more authoritative blows. Booker's got to finish this round. He's got to finish this round big if he's looking to score at least a draw. I don't think that he's going to win this fight. Do you I think, think he needs a knockdown? I, I do. I think he needs at least a. I think he needs at least a knockdown. Sometimes the judges see some things that we don't see, but I feel like just aggression is not enough to, to win this round and win the fight. Just over the halfway mark of the eighth, a right uppercut that backed up Booker momentarily, and Booker has been unable to get out of the way of that big right uppercut from Sonny Duberson. I got a feeling Sonny's going to finish this round very, very strong. Duberson appears to be the bigger man. He just pushed Booker off of him, and typically Booker is the one who's able to impose his will physically upon his opponents. Big right hand right there from Duberson that missed, but you can see that he's got a lot left in the tank. Duberson looking to drive Booker to the perimeter of the ring, and now he goes to work on the body. Yep. I, he's going to pour it on. It's, it's, it's about to come. We got about 45 seconds left in the, in the fight. Beavers is going to turn it on, and he's going to pour it out. Don't you love weeknight boxing? <laughs> this is what you get on the weeknight. This has been a good fight. It's better than I actually expected it to be. Well, I think that if I'm just guessing, I'm sure that this decision will be a little bit more clear-cut than the presidential election, but that's another topic uh -oh. for another day. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can't talk about that right now. Let's, let's stick with boxing and a big uppercut that Dubas and just landed. As we go ahead as you, and near the end of this eighth and final round. Yeah, and as you get to the scorecards, if you're Duverson, don't do that. Don't let off. Don't take a tire round off and, and leave the fight in the judges' hands and, and, and leave us wondering if you actually want the fight. And that ends the fight. We'll come back and get the official decision between Cordell Booker and Sonny Duverson. But let's take a look at this matchup between Cordell Booker and Sonny Duberson in the third round. Duberson really started to pick it up, and in the fifth, that right uppercut at short distance was definitely a very big weapon of choice for the 30-year-old out of Avon Park, Florida, and my goodness, was he landing it at will. In the seventh, he continued to come on, having Booker hurt on numerous occasions, and unloading big power shots at close range was Sonny Duberson. Duberson, without question, showcasing his power and in the eighth he was unrelenting but Cordell Booker certainly was up to the test at least when it comes to remaining upright and Sean let's take a look at the punch that numbers you know what everything is pretty close I, I think this is a close fight I thought it was a close fight I have Sonny Duverson winning this fight but even the numbers very close Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the full eight rounds, we go to the scorecards. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Don DeVergas has it 77-75 for Duverson. Judge Damian Walton has it 77-75 for Booker. And Judge Carla Caiz has it 77-75 for your winner by split decision, Cordell the Gift. Booker. You know, I, I can't Sean. say. I, I, yeah, go, I can't say I agree with that decision. Very close fight. Uh, you know, look like for, even from the numbers, just a little bit is what swung it.